Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for a midweek shave. I was gonna have this shave out a little earlier, but I ran into some problems at the house with a uh, installer who was supposed to install our dishwasher, and I ended up installing it myself. I'll tell you more about that during the shave. But today, we're gonna be trying out some new products. You guys have been requesting that I try out some Hub City soap and aftershave. And I contacted the folks at Hub City and I was able to purchase some samples because apparently uh, you guys say the Red Cabin in the Woods is a really nice combination, nice smelling soap and nice scented aftershave. So I was able to purchase some samples from them and I'm gonna try it out for the first time today. And the uh, it says that the scent is a nod to the company owner's wife's favorite fragrance, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. I think it's vanilla, but it says vanille on the website. And I noticed the aftershave is sold out, or no, the aftershave isn't sold out. They won't ship the aftershave outside of the US, probably because of the problem with shipping liquid outside of the country but the uh, soap is still available and ships anywhere in the world. So I'm gonna be trying that out today. Then I have a, a razor that I showed you a little while ago from Global Shave Club. It is the Wave, and it is an open comb, mild razor. On a scale from one to five, the folks at Global Shave Club rate the Mercure 34C to be about a 2.5 out of five on aggressing, aggress, aggression. There we go, aggression. So uh, it's about halfway, so it's a mild razor. They rate this identical. Now this is an open comb. Someone said, what's the difference between a closed comb and an open comb? See the safety bar? See the safety bar. So the whiskers on a open comb go in the slots and the blade gets to them a lot closer. So. I've never heard of a, a razor where an open comb is equal to a closed comb in terms of aggression. So we're gonna try that out today. I'm gonna try it out with one of my favorite blades, the uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette Saloon Pack from India. So we're gonna load this razor up. And this is the first time I'm trying this razor out today, today also. So the soap, aftershave, and razor are gonna be the first time I'm trying it out. All right, got my blade out. This is a three-piece razor. Now I get the prototypes to try. I'm able to get a couple of my hands on these razors before they actually go on sale, but this razor is on sale now. So I actually get the prototypes, so they don't always have them fine-tuned to, uh, to the specs that they sell to the general public. I just get like almost the first out the door. So the only thing I've noticed is that the handle is just a little bit wobbly until it starts to get tight, then it's perfect. And blade alignment, damn, looks pretty aggressive to me, but blade alignment is quite good and it's a very light razor. For 13 bucks and some change, uh, you can't go wrong. I really like the gold tip on the end. I think uh, several of the other guys have already reviewed this razor. This is the first time I'm using it. All right. So I'm gonna have to put the Hub City soap into a shave bowl, and this is from Van Ule, and uh, I think this is a Factory Seconds. I end up getting the Factory Seconds for like eight bucks, but it's a great travel bowl, but this honeycomb stuff really helps whip up the lather. So we're gonna put, man, I smell the tobacco, vanilla scent right away. Some musk too. My nose isn't the greatest but uh, allegedly you guys have been asking me about this stuff forever. Please try it out, try it out, try it out. It's brown. <laughs> it's well, reddish brown, red cabin in the woods. All right, perfect. I was using the 50 pence piece to scoop it. Put that there. So I've got the soap right in there. And today I'm going to be using, uh, from Portugal, the Samog Owners Club Badger. And uh, one of my favorite wooden handle brushes. I've got it soaking in the crystal skull. But I uh, really like the Samog brushes. And their Owners Club are just a little bit more collectible. So I've had that one for years, and I've never had an issue with it. All right. Let uh, 
this. Drain some of the water out of that uh, badger. And we'll start whipping it up. First time using this soap and this brush. So you never know quite how much water to leave loaded in there. But the scent, it, it's stirring that scent all over the place and it's coming out. See, we just keep whipping it. It's coming out pretty darn good, catching the soap off the edges. Hoping for a good shave today. Man, I'm frustrated with that dishwasher. We've had a dishwasher for about 10 years. 10 years ago, we had our kitchen redone. Brand new cabinets, granite top, everything looking good. Brand new, our dishwasher was brand new 10 years ago. But it just stopped cleaning. It was a frigid air. It just stopped cleaning. You had to wash the dishes, rinse off the dishes before you even put it into the dishwasher, or they just wouldn't get cleaned. And sometimes the trap door for the soap wouldn't open, so it was time. So we got an LG, Costco. The guy comes to deliver, or they deliver it. They say, we can't install, it's gonna be a week. So today, the installation guy shows up. He looks at it, he goes, I can't, I can't, I can't install this. I said, why not? There's only three things that hook up to a dishwasher. There's a, a water hose, the drain, the drain hose, and the power plug. And he said, uh, I can't shut off the water. The valve's frozen. I go, this is only 10 years old, dude. And I get underneath and I go, there, the valve's turned off. No, it isn't. So I, you know, I said, you know what, dude? Just split. I'll do it myself. 45 minutes later, that dishwasher's in there running. So I, I, I really can't stand these people who are just, you know, they just don't want to work. Wow, we, this does, this feels aggressive. That's an open combo. <laughs> but holy crap, it knocked down the whisker immediately. Soap's nice and slick. I appreciate that fact because open combs can cut you. But they can give on one pass the perfect shave. Very light. My wife's on fire. She's going to call Costco and say, hey, man, that guy, you know. But since I hooked it up for her, man, I am going to be able to watch any movie I want tonight. The Scream pack just from uh, the Scream 4 pack of DVDs just arrived, all four Scream movies. I'm going to be able to watch whatever I want. I'm glad he couldn't do it. I like the handle on this razor. Hear the feedback? I'm getting a little nervous now because I'm getting to the area that I usually cut myself. I'm gonna start going at an angle like this now. Things are mellowing out a little bit in Southern California. The looting has stopped, the curfew violations. Man, you're out after curfew. Here's a zip tied and gone. Things are mellowing out a little bit. I went down to Huntington Beach uh, by the pier and the liquor store, 7-Elevens, everything's boarded up. So they were expecting a lot of trouble. And it's a shame because, you know, people want to protest, they want to get their word out, okay. But it's the certain element that comes with the protesters that are the opportunists. I think they're calling them opportunists that are looking to loot. And there's so many cameras that they got you, man. They got your license plate of your car. They're going to get you. I just wouldn't want anything like that craziness on my record. I, I can understand the protesters wanting to get the, the message out. I understand. I do understand. But, but looting is another story, man. Whatever floats your boat. Somebody's going to comment and say, looting's great. What's your problem? You know.
do whatever you want to do. Hang on. That was my wife telling me the dishwasher's running. Yeah, I'm testing it. <laughs> make sure those three, well, electricity's not going to leak, but make sure that the water hose doesn't leak going to the dishwasher and the drain hose doesn't leak. So you, how do you test that? you got to turn on the water, turn on the dishwasher. So I don't know how it works. That's our problem. But it's running. And again, I can watch whatever movie I want to. All right. Soap in the ears, I know. Wow, well, no cuts. For an open comb razor not to cut me... I'm impressed. And again, I'm not telling you guys to go buy these products. I'm trying them out. See how they work for me? So you can see. I should have watched a YouTube video on how to install a dishwasher, but I've done it before. Just not that model. Got some, uh, I got a shaving kit from the, I ordered a shaving kit. Let me see what the name of that. Hawkins and Brimble from the UK. And what was cool about those gentlemen is when I was ordering it, uh, they said, is there any local distributors in California? I said, no, I'm not, not aware of. I mean, it, it's coming from the, the stuff I got off Amazon. It's actually coming from the UK, but came very quickly. So they actually have reached out to the folks at West Coast Shaving and ask the folks at West Coast Shaving if uh, they can stock their products. So that's kind of cool. So now, you know, if you want something you ordered from West Coast Shaving, you don't have to wait however long it's going to take to come from the UK. So that's kind of all right. I hope they end up stocking the products. All right, Hub City, Red Cabin in the Woods, aftershave in the sample bottle. Okay, I'm going to dump a bunch of it in here. I'll ask my wife how she likes the scent. She usually despises a lot of the scents I like, and then the stuff she likes, say, yeah, that's okay. It has alcohol in it. Oof. There's the home alone burn. It does have a really nice scent. I saw these guys on Instagram, and although I'm on Instagram, I really don't check my messages from Instagram, so... If you guys want to get a hold of me, just email me. I check my email, but, you know, I'm terrible at the messages on Instagram. And, and uh, people have been requesting that I try this because I follow them on Instagram. But, uh, man, I like the scent. I like the burn. Now, that razor and blade combo, perfect. That soap with that razor and blade combo, perfect. No cuts. All right. Oh, and I was able to go to the dentist yesterday and have my teeth cleaned. The only thing I've noticed now that during the pandemic, they won't use the, the electric uh, descaler or the, uh, you know, the, the, or the polisher. They just bring out the, the uh, sanitized manual scrapers and clean you and then that's it. You're on your own. No, you're not getting your teeth buffed. But hey, at least I got my hair cut last week. Got my teeth done. <sighs> Feeling good. Guys, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions. I do appreciate it. Uh, YouTube said that a lot more of you are subscribing to the channel. And that's why they said you should put subscribe now at the beginning of your uh, video instead of at the end of the video. So I do add the language in there, but I just want to say thank you for watching. And uh, if you subscribe, cool, but appreciate you watching. All right, guys, stay safe. We'll see you real soon.